Hello, child of God. As you well know, you do not need to have a greenhouse to talk to God. He's waiting to hear from you anywhere and at any time. Almighty God established a pattern back when he created the Garden of Eden. Each evening, he would visit Adam and Eve in the garden. And this is where Adam was to learn about God and about gardening. Just as there are many kinds of prayer, there are also many ways to hear from God. Spiritual communication is a very difficult subject for me to explain, but the Holy Spirit is well able to teach you how to hear His voice and follow His guidance one-on-one. -on -one. You can encourage the Holy Spirit to guide you by praying and then expecting His guidance. Child of God, there is for some of us an encouragement to say or to do something that we know is coming from the Lord. Sometimes that communication of encouragement gets the label, the anointing. Another one of those many ways to hear from God is when he voluntarily checks you in the spirit. This is the communication that is an encouragement not to do or not to say whatever it is that you're thinking or planning to do. Sometimes that communication gets the label being checked in the spirit. I really do not know where the term being checked came from, but I know the communication very well. It means do not do it. God did not create us as robots. We are free will agents. God allows us to make our own decisions and does not dictate to us every move that we should make. Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he will teach you. But at the same time, I do not walk around with my eyes closed expecting the Holy Spirit to tell me when to water my plants. I know my plants need to be watered, especially when I see them drying up. And it is also very likely that he will remind me to water my plants if I totally forget or become greatly distracted. The point being that if a person can learn to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit concerning his garden or his greenhouse, then he can also follow the direction of the Holy Spirit on very important eternal matters. For example, I installed my raised bed plot. It was around 40 feet long and 30 inches wide. And since I was up on a hill, the raised bed was over 20 inches deep in places. It takes a lot of soil to fill the raised bed. So I was delighted to hear about the free cow manure at the local stockyard. You can shovel it yourself or give a driver 15 bucks to load your truck with a front end load. And any source of free animal manure is usually a delight for most any gardener. But the Lord checked me on going to get a load of manure for my soil mixture. This is one time that I complied to the check in my spirit without knowing why the Lord said no. I did not understand why, but I did not disobey his guidance this time. One of my many failures in trusting God's guidance is being haunted by the question of why he said no. And just like being in the school of hard knocks, I have learned that if I ignored his guidance and did it my way, the end result would become an altar failure. Later, I learned that these cattle are usually fattened up with genetically modified corn, GMOs. And they were also injected with growth hormones to fatten them up not long before taken to the market. And there is also the issue of herbicides and insecticides that are often sprayed in the cattle's environment. This was just not the place where I could find any similarity to an organic cow manure. This manure is loaded with many toxic chemicals in Roundup Ready cattle feed. I'm not a truly organic gardener, but I still do not want toxic chemicals in my raised bed garden. The Lord helped me greatly by checking me in the spirit and when I obeyed, it saved me from making another ignorant mistake. My understanding about the manure was faulty, and I would have been growing my food in a toxic waste dump. The scripture says, lean not on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord in all of your ways. And as I said before, you can encourage the Holy Spirit to guide you by praying and then expecting his guidance. And of course, you can also discourage the Holy Spirit from giving you guidance. For example, many farmers in my area use the old farmer's almanac instead of trusting in the Lord. To these farmers, it is a Bible that they were instructed to follow as children. Since 1792, the old farmer's almanac has given a mixture of useful information like weather and temperature averages and some safe periods for planting in areas that receive frost 
but then it also mixes in astrological witchcraft. Some of the old farmers consider it as an absolute, scientifically proven fact that the best planting days are based on the moon's phases because the moon and its cycles affects plant growth. The old farmer's almanac also gives the secrets of the zodiac, like charts of the moon's place in the astrological zodiac, as well as the charts of the man of signs, which shows what part of the body is influenced by which sign, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and so on. These farmers apply their faith and choose to believe that the alignment of the stars governs their plant growth instead of Almighty God that created the stars. The same God that created the stars is waiting to fellowship and teach us and tell us or instruct us when and how to plant seeds or any other guidance that we need. The Old Farmer's Almanac is a source of information accumulated from over 200 years of toxic bullshit. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. Child of God, I love to work in my garden, and especially in the greenhouse. But spending time there with Almighty God, and learning to learn from Him, has made it an amazing spiritual experience. Jesus said, My sheep know my voice, and will not follow the voice of a stranger. Almighty God is the one that chose the environment of the garden for fellowship, and speaking from my own experience, it is a low-stress environment where I am spiritually happy and relaxed. And for me, it is an excellent environment to hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you have any gardening questions, talk to the Lord first and listen for yourself to what he says. And I'll see you on the next video. May God bless you. Bye-bye.